2013. <laughs> Don't clown him, please. This is a banger. Ignore the uh, the fits. Ignore the fits. Obviously, they're all talented, but I mean, like they they were all put in the band for various reasons. The thing with K-pop that each member would have like a different um, role in the in the group. So, for example, we have lines. In, in K-pop, we call them lines. So they have the vocal line, the rap line, the dance line. We have the rap line, which is Sugar, RM, and J-Hope. So they're the three rappers of the group. Yeah. Um, then we have the vocal line, which is uh, Jungkook, Jimin, V, and uh, Jin. They're the singers of the group. But we also have the dance line, which is Jin. <laughs> the Lord Jin. Uh -huh. Wow, she doesn't even know her no, stuff, guys. Because... Come for her. Come no, for her. I was. Her at on Twitter, Nana Trainer. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, we have the vocal line and the rap line, and then we have the dance line. The dance line consists of J-Hope, Jungkook, and Jimin. They're the three main dancers. Well, J-Hope's like the, the lead, like the main dancer of the band. He like, he's an insanely talented dancer, like yeah. ridiculous. And um, Jimin is also a ridiculous dancer, but he specialized. He went to the, the Busan, Busan's the second biggest city in Korea. Um, after Seoul, uh, he went to the Busan like School of Arts or something, and he did like contemporary and ballet and all this stuff. He's oh. like, his dance style is like beautiful, and then <laughs> beautiful, and then Jungkook like I don't know if he really like danced a lot when he was younger, but he's a very good dancer. That when he was like training in BTS, they like sent him to America to like learn to dance, and he's like oh. just a great dancer in the band. They also have the honorary fourth member of the dance line, which is V, because he's also a ridiculously good dancer. Um, but yeah, those are like the main lines. They have other lines, but I'm not even going to get into uh -huh. those. I want to show you so that I think my personal favourite, my old favourite performance was the one that they did at the end of 2018 when they were on the, I think it was the... Um, How do you remember the MMA. this? Uh, no, it's a lot. I think it was the 2018 MMA, which is the Mellon Music Awards. They did this amazing... 18 or 19? 18. Um, MMA <laughs> Awards. <laughs> Came up. No, it was 18. It was in December of 2018. Uh, the MMAs, which is the best performance they've like, person, my favorite, it was like my favorite personal performance that they've done. They topped it in last year's MMAs, the 2019 MMAs. Um, and they did like a freaking 37 minute like performance, which is just ridiculous. Okay, yeah, so this stage was epic, and I don't, we don't have time to watch all 37 minutes of it. So I'm gonna skim the first couple songs. So before they did the song Dionysus, they did all seven of them did like a little kind of little solo dance bit at the beginning. And I'm just gonna show you that, just to show you their like dance styles because I love this. We're watching Step Up. We're <laughs> watching Step Up. So I'm gonna start from 19 minutes. Okay, go. Is that one of them? No, <laughs> it's a, it's a, when I watched this live, because I watched it live, I was like, which one of them is that? RM. It's not them. Yeah, that's RM. Definitely. Not it would RM. be. Would it? Yeah, if, if one of them had to. And let's see if you can recognize it. RM so it's going to be the box. members are going to be like by themselves when they do this. Okay. This is very like. Is this them? No. I did think it was them when <laughs> I first watched it. This is like so extra. This is like. Yeah, but. This is the biggest performance they did of last year. It's all extra. That's the point of it. Mm. So these are all backing dancers. The whole theme of the song they're about to perform after they introduce all the members is kind of like Greek god, kind of ancient Greece themed. Yeah. So that's why you'll see they're kind of dressed in like those kind of fits. So the first member is coming out. V. <laughs> wow, instant. <laughs> I know my man anywhere. He's looking like himself in the last two years. Like I feel like he's easy to, to recognise. I don't think his hair I think has changed that hair, much. I think yeah, and it's, in the last like, he has couple a cute years. like face shape. He has a cute face shape, but he's also got like a sex. Like I don't know how to a describe what? it. Like no, <laughs> he's also got like a sex. He's got like a cute baby face, but then he can also be like really sexy and like I don't know how to describe it, but I love him. That's Jin. Okay, good. He's the oldest member. Is that why he's got a... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Is that why he's got what? <laughs> I thought he had a cane. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the barrier, so he would fall off and freaking die in the middle of the performance. I thought he had a cane. Here is he again? Jin. Jin. Jim. Jin. Jim. Jin. Like gin and tonic. Okay. <gasps> I love this. Can you mind? Jimin, like, studied, like, ballet and stuff in school. He's... Oh. <sighs> this performance... Is this One Direction? I hate you. 
It's an instrumental of one of BTS's songs, I Need You. I love this so much. King of pirouetting. <laughs> He's literally the CEO of ballet. Oh, beautiful. How amazing was that? Is RM gonna come out next? Not next. Oh. Next is my bias. Shucky. Let's just go with Shucky. Oh, I love him so much. Look at him, he's so cool. I've never loved a person. Person. I never loved a human more than I love Min Yoongi. Are you the Harry Do? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm going to get cancelled in the Harry the fandom. The Harrys are going to come. The Harrys are going to I still love Harry. But Min Yoongi though. Look at him. That body roll. He, oh, he is the C... That's his real name. He is the CEO of body rolling. Honestly. Look at him. He, all he does is go into board meetings and body roll because he is literally the, the, the CEO of body rolling. I thought you were being so, serious for a second. <laughs> I was like, what? So we're moving on from Fire and this beautiful performance with Fire. RM? We're gonna go to Water, to one more member. RM? No, not RM. Is it Jungkook? Yes, wow. How did you know that from his hand? <laughs> it was his knee that got me. <laughs> wow, you really are a stun. <laughs> he did, literally did a water dance. Jungkook got hand tattoos, but you can't really see them so well in this. Oh shit, does he? Look at him. His water dance. I love the way that the water like splashes off his like legs and stuff. I think I liked his dance the best. Really? Yeah. It's stunning. Man's got thick thighs, you know. Thick. He's famous for them. <laughs> famous. <laughs> this is J Hope. He is the main dancer, as I told you already. That turtleneck though, giving me Steve Job vibes. I'm so done with you. Is this Skrillex? <laughs> it does sound like Skrillex, doesn't it? Like a Skrillex <laughs> remix of Fake Love. Dubstep? <laughs> I've listened to this so many times. I'm waiting for them to release this version, it was lit. EDM remix? Yeah! Imagine that the comms are getting lit, like, to this. In prison. This prison Watford? <laughs> okay, now it's oh, RM. Crazy. Is RM your second favourite? Do you know what I call capitalism? The fact that they sell those light things. How much are they? <laughs> They're like 50 quid. Yeah. That's like hands down capitalism. Capitalism! And like, if you don't have them, you're like, what, on How much route? is it? 50 or 60 pounds. I was being, I was joking. I was going to say, no, it's 20. This was, this was 20. This was 20. That's a scam. That's a scam. No. I could make this in my back garden room. Make it then. Make it then. Fickle love! <laughs> That's oh, a scam. Can you hear something really funny? They, they cut it. They're so cute, but like... No, this isn't... This The main one's the big one. This is my man RM, yeah? Yeah, something really... Put some respect on his name. Something happens to him in this performance. What do you but mean? But they cut it. So when he, like, he has to smash this down in time with it, but he misses a bit. And he actually hit himself between the legs. But they cut it. Oh, typical RM. But he, oh, he's... No, genuinely. Okay, so this is a YouTuber, I quite like her. She's like a reaction channel, but she makes a lot of videos about theories and stuff about BTS, because as I said, their whole music videos are like in this weird universe where they all like correlate to each other. I just clicked my elbow and all this stuff. Anyway, this video will really show you their struggle and show you like where they've come from and all this the kind struggle. of stuff. struggle. Genuinely. We're so struggling. It's called BTS from Nobodies to Legends. I'd love to see it. Well, let's see it. What the hell? Who was that one in the middle? Jungkook, when his hair was long before he cut it. It looked really nice. He cut it like. They had a this month looks like break. the One Direction tour diaries. <laughs> his hair. Let's <sighs> not talk about it. Okay, can you read the t shirts? Yeah. <laughs> Look at those cheekbones. So he, so he said, if you weren't reading it, he said, um, we'll wear these t-shirts with our name on it until one day we can be recognised without wearing name tags. Oh yeah, they all lived in, they all used to live in one room. Why? Three bunk beds and a little bed for Jungkook there. Why? 
because their company was so their company basically in korea they have like big companies they their company was an independent small company that had no money and like invested everything in this one band and now they're the biggest company in in, in k-pop play oh yeah so they went through this kind of era so exo or another k-pop boy band these are all exo fans or xols i love exo i really like the band exo when they debuted bts were like being ridiculed and they weren't really that popular um but then when bts started getting more popular xol started um saying that they were like plagiarizing exo and plagiarizing all these other k-pop people and at one point when bts um they won their first music show win so like they to win a music show win you have to get like voted like the number one and you have to sell loads of copies and streams and stuff like that they like got a, a music show win and all these other fan bases like trended that they were like they all joined together to trend a trend against bts um, like against the fans congratulating them they trended like play like so they're called bang like uh, bangtan boys they trended like plagiarism boys to like yeah and it was like they were so hated they were like so hated all these fandoms like people had written letters to the government in korea for them to be taken down that's how serious that their hate was people hated them so bad you need to take a chill pill Relax. trust me trust me basically they everyone was hating on them and then you know obviously they proved everyone wrong by becoming the most successful korean band to ever exist in the history of what's the world. this about so the situation on screen now this is not too long after they debuted so RM and Sugar, before they were in BTS, they were like rappers, like underground rappers. That's how like RM got found because he was like quite a well-known underground rapper from near Seoul. And then um, Sugar was really well-known. He used to like, when he was like younger, he used to like spend all his money like making and producing music and he wouldn't even have money to like eat or get the bus and things like that. Because yeah. um, he was so like dedicated to his music. So they were well-known like underground rappers and these are some other rappers. Some of them are underground, some of them are like a little bit known. And this is after they debuted and basically the this one main rapper called Be Free was just ridiculing them at this kind of like it was like a little like evening or whatever. There were some fans in there and they were doing Q and A's and stuff. Yeah. And he was like, Well, you're a, you're not real rappers anymore, you're an embarrassment, you look like girls, you wear makeup. Um he was just he was they were just sat there, just sat there being ridiculed and they had to just take it. And it was really cruel. I'll go back a little bit so you can actually see. But yeah, like he's just like saying, it's not makeup, it's like a girl, it's like being a girl. Yeah, this, the girl like was filming and she was like, like, what the hell, I can't believe they're saying this. Yeah, so they when they went to their first concerts, fans were literally like saying like, um, like anti-fans were saying, um, oh, if you, at this day, I'm going to put a bomb in the venue, I'm going to shoot Jimin. There was this, also this incident, so in Korea they do a lot of like big shows where they'll have like, 20 bands all performing at once and once at a concert they had what's called a black ocean so you know how they have the light sticks that i have every band has one and then um sometimes you just change their colors to like represent the other bands just to, like be nice everyone switched off that's logan paul why does <laughs> he look so hideous disgusting anyway everyone switched off their um lights so that bts would have black total darkness when they're performing this is them winning all their awards and, you know coming up yeah. Yeah. So this is like, even though now they've made it, they're still getting like. I got worried. I don't know. I think they look very nice. This is literally New Year's Eve. They're like ridiculing them. They're like it's shit, and they're five minutes into the performance. Grown men and little girls are off to low He's trash. They've broken all these records. They've had they weren't nominated for they Grammys and everyone thinks they were like snubbed. The they, they were. Separated them. Sorry to interrupt yeah. you, Denny, but that's what would it just it's crazy because they constantly outsell American counterparts. Yeah. They outperform them, but they're still not acknowledged in the way they should be. They're really trying to maintain their identity. And there Dead is ass. a barrier there when it comes to the, the, the Korean language. Like, obviously, there's going to be some. I think that's the same with uh, all boy bands, though. Weren't One, One Direction they're treated the exact the same. same? Everyone took the piss out of them just because they were a boy band. Mm. I think they're like more enthusiastic than anyone. Can you describe that enthusiasm? They brought a boy band from Korea to ground. They look cute. I'm when was that? Last year at the Grammys. That's nice. I cried when That's I first a nice watched photo this. Shoot. I know. I couldn't get it because it was freaking not here. When I first watched this video, I fully cried. 
I've yeah, they did this performance dedicated to the Beatles. The seven member boy BTS performed at the US's most watched New Year's concert, New Year's is that Rock posting? Movie. Yes. Their upcoming US tour is one of the most popular. I don't like him, is he I just don't like him. More remarkable, Posties don't come from their songs are not that in English. In They're headlining two sold out nights at Wembley Stadium, performing for 60,000. I wanted to go, you know. Well, and just stand there with your, with your one song that you know and your one member. It includes 23,000 foreign fans who came solely to see the concerts and to I didn't even get tickets. Apparently they brought in more tourism than the Winter Olympics for last their concerts at the end of last year. What do you mean you didn't get tickets? How'd you get in? We didn't go to the show, we just sat outside. That's why I told you that. Why didn't you go? We didn't get tickets. This is London? No, it's a soul. Oh. 27% were 40 to 49 years old. Hi, I'm Sam and I'm 34. Hi, I'm Cheryl. I'm just over 50. I'm 56. There were so many people, every race, every age, every gender. Six years old. Almost like their concerts. Years old. That's what I like about them, and that's what I liked about One Direction. Yeah, look at her necklace was like in my earring. Who you are, and right, right, and you know, having a a group of like musicians and like really talented people. Talking yeah, about was... like better yourself, love yourself, and you know, become something. I thought that was a bit. It's actually good. <laughs> the jewel. He's a really big fan, John Cena. People who are misunderstood the belief that what they're doing is right. I think that's very important. You should love yourself. For a group that is such larger than life, that like, it can be so easy to like dehumanize them. Really Why do is that French so botched? Like, really, like, <laughs> Yikes. Humble. It's a I've never seen a, a whole concert. It's astonishing. I don't know how they do it. They yeah. are he likes snuck into their show course. like in the pit. And we load up and we had a blast. Oh, I'm and, and Michael McIntyre. Ma Ma right Ma <laughs> Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> Michael McIntyre. Are you okay, mate? Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, and Michael McIntyre. The absolute chess on you. Just a respect on his name. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey. I'm, I'm crying. <laughs> oh, they did a speech at the uh, you know, For what reason? For their um, charity. We have to love ourselves. So now I urge, I urge you, you to speak yourself. What? I want to get that tattooed on me. Dead ass best speech I ever oh, heard in my why life. Why did they have a meeting in the UN? Oh, because they're so they're so their whole album "Love Yourself." You can see behind mm, you. I don't want to look. <laughs> So proceeds of their album were going to a charity that they started up. Um, Why it was do the you have like six campaign. of the same album? Because they're different versions. They did four versions of each album. They have different themes and photo books and stuff. So the black one's a different album to the first one? So this one is Love Yourself Her, the black one is Love Yourself Tear, and the silver one is Love Yourself Answer. They're all different albums, however each one the same colour is the exact same album with different versions of the photo book and the album. And you collect photo cards. So, live. these photo cards, there's four in each. So, each time it's like a random one. Did so you, you specifically go and buy a photo booklet to put these in? No, my friend gave this to me actually, but she has she had a bigger one, so she gave me this her old one. Some of these are like, people like pay, someone paid, like, my friend sold this one of JK for £20 by itself, and the album's even like basically cheaper than that. Use me. Oh my god, the speech. Nah. They're really cute. Oh my god, that speech so ends good. me every time. Thank you so much. Yo, I'm just thinking about how much money they made out of those stupid lights. Why are you still talking about the lights? <laughs> Yo, everyone in that arena has one. That's a fifty dollar. Yeah, sixty thousand people times. Do the math, bitch. You really have your calculator out. They turned a struggling agency into one of the most prof prof profitable companies. Profiteroz man said. <laughs> they were nobodies uh, who became legends. Is that mean? No, that was sugar, so how embarrassing. <laughs> Are you embarrassed? You should be. Look. <laughs> Look. Who was that? Me. Yeah, my man. You didn't know. <laughs> I did, I asked. Thank you for watching. Thanks, Celeste. Okay, wait, let's let's have a summary. So we literally just watched like we watched music videos, we watched 
interviews, we watched freaking like edit videos of like their struggles and we watched even live performances. What are your final thoughts now that you've watched all these things, you kind of recognise the members a bit more, like what are your general thoughts towards BTS? I mean, I liked them. I've, I always liked BTS. But you were always like, curious about not them. Not like enough to go out and like look them up and stuff. Like I have a whole ass playlist with their music on it, but like I'm listening to it on shuffle, you know? I'm not mm. like, oh, I know the song. I know like, like three songs. Well, what, what have you learned about BTS though from tonight, from this evening of us watching Shiz? They charge a lot for those lights. <sighs> Oh my god, why do you dead ass keep oh, talking about the blood. light sticks? That's they have- can you, can you put some respect? <laughs> can you put some- <laughs> That's 50 pounds, gone! Oh no, I knocked Jimin off the- <laughs> Jimin! Not Jimin! He went under me. No. <gasps> Damn! So you're so curious about these, this is- a light stick, what well, they're kind of generally known as across K-pop, but each, not a lightsaber, <laughs> each K-pop band have a specific name for their light sticks. So BTS's light stick is called Army. an army bomb. Brand. In the airport and they were like, what's this? And I was like, a light stick? <laughs> <laughs> a bomb? I don't, you can't say that word in the airport, but this is an army bomb. Fans like like to decorate them, so that's why I've got stickers on mine. It says BTS, I've got, I've got some, well. ugh, I have got hair in it. <laughs> It's hair. Oh my god, it's under Yungi. <laughs> it's <a> pube. <laughs> it's not a pube. Shut up. My hair's curly everywhere. <laughs> anyway, so I'll show you. So this one's like a mini. This is a key ring one. So you'd put this on your bag or you'd like. It's, so this one doesn't really just work. Just in case a pop up BTS show would happen. No, but yeah. it's like just for show. You don't. You wouldn't. I mean, some people might use it, but that's not really the real thing. When you go to a concert, you'd take this. It's got little things inside. Can you hear it? Yeah, I can see them. So my only bob's a little bit broken. Hopefully it would work. But this button actually changes the this button changes things. So look, it will start flashing. Change the light. You pair so it has to all your these phone. things. But so when you go to a concert, what you would do, there's actually an app, if I can find it. When you go to a concert, you'd press concert mode and then you'd give them your seat and you connect it to the app and that's it. So that when you go to the concert, it will automatically change colour. That's kind of sick. BTS is like official kind of colour is purple because uh, V made up a phrase called I purple you, but in Korea it's like Borahe because Seranghe means I love you and Bora is purple. Or Borasek is purple, the colour purple. Um, so he says Borahe and it means I purple you and it's just like a thing and he posts it with purple hearts and it's like now they're thing so purple's like BTS's colour Your final thoughts not about the freaking army bomb <laughs> just about BTS um, in general like how do you like their RM music? How do you like, okay, what, about the members so you think they're your biases RM and bias. V, your biases um, Anything else? How do you like their dancing and their performing? I mean, we all knew, we've been new. Like we've been new. We've been new. We've been new. It's 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 high quality. We've been new. <laughs> Anything else you want to add? Uh, we've got one minute forty left. Jimin. Before it runs up. Hello. Anyway, we're gonna end the video now because we've been filming for like over an hour, and we probably might still watch more BTS, we, but just not film it. We will end up watching more BTS. Okay. Bye.